Hi, I'm Stacey Nagy with Primary Weapon Systems, and this is the PWS Minute. Today we're going to talk about the SRX, which is our SCAR rail extension. The SRX rail offers the following features. It adds 5 inches of rail space, has limited rotation QD sling points on each side, allows for use of lights and other accessories without interfering with the sight plane of the weapon, and also allows for adjustability and disassembly of the piston system without removing the rail. In addition, it also retains the SCAR's ability to quick change the barrel. Next, we're going to show you how to properly install this device. Your new PWS SRX rail will include the following. The SRX itself, the mounting screws, four side screws, and two bottom screws for the bottom rail, the appropriate wrenches for those fasteners, and the redesigned yoke that extends out and maintains the free float status of the barrel and the ability to quick change it. First step in the installation of your SRX is to remove the lower from your scar after clearing and ensuring that your weapon is safe. Next you will need to remove the side retaining fasteners for the quick change barrel system. It's these two on the sides and then in the front. There's three on each side. When you begin to loosen them, you will begin to feel a ratcheting system. These fasteners are all retained and they will not fall out of the weapon. And then repeat for the other side. Once all six fasteners have been loosened, Simply ease back on the bolt and pull the barrel forward. Once you've removed the barrel assembly from your scar, use a propane torch to apply heat to the bottom fasteners on the rail. The rail is made of aluminum, so there's no danger in harming the rail. And always use caution when using heat. Repeat this step for the front. Prior to reassembly, any factory locking agent should be thoroughly cleaned from the weapon. Once both fasteners have been removed, either wait until the rail and the barrel assembly completely cools or use a rag and carefully remove the bottom rail. Once the rail is off, you will need to remove the original FN yoke. And it's just kind of firmly slotted into the rail, so you may just have to rock it back and forth a little bit. To complete assembly of your new SRX rail on your SCAR, line up the new yoke with the bottom rail in the front fastener hole, as you can see, and then reseat it on the barrel assembly and you're going to use the two replacement screws that we include with the SRX. A small amount of Loctite 262 is recommended for reassembly. Do not use the original screws that were on the rail. For this step it is recommended to barely snug the fasteners. So we're going to go to hand tight and then loosen it just a little bit. And what this will allow for is for the barrel assembly to be reinstalled in the scar and then once everything's ensured that it's lined up properly then you can final tighten all the fasteners.
Once you have final torqued the six side retaining fasteners for the barrel assembly using the recommended torque wrench by FN, slip your new SRX rail over the barrel and line it up on the yoke. Once you have ensured that the alignment between the SRX rail and the new yoke is proper, then you can install and final tighten the four mounting screws, two on each side. As you can see, the final SRX install is very clean. It matches up with the rest of the gun very nicely. You have your original sling points, which some other rails do not allow, and now you have a great ergonomic platform that this weapon truly deserves. For more information on the PWS SRX, please visit www.primaryweapons.com.